Well, as we've seen in Florida, hurricane force winds can be destructive and deadly. Well, what's it like for people in Louisiana as Andrew's vicious winds blow toward the coast? Tracy Savage is live at a wind tunnel. She's got a demonstration for us. Tracy. Well, Pat and Jerry, this is uh, UCLA's brand new wind tunnel, and they use it to test various uh, speeds of wind. It's a project sponsored by the Navy, and ultimately the Navy will use the findings from this wind tunnel to design uh, fighter planes. But for our purposes today, we are going to give you an idea of what the folks in Florida have been through and what the folks along the Gulf Coast are about to go through. Now, uh, this machine cranks up to about 140 miles an hour. We've got Gibson on the controls there. Gibson, let's start at about 25 miles an hour. I'm gonna walk on into this. 25 miles an hour, it's uh, a little gusty, but it's not that strong. We're used to these kinds of winds here in the Southland when the Santa Ana's blow. 25 is not that intense. Gibson, if we can uh, take it up now to 50 miles an hour, definitely a little bit stronger 50 miles an hour is enough to uh, knock over anything that is not uh, strapped down anything lightweight lawn furniture maybe tiles from your roof but this is not hurricane force winds hurricane force winds well let's show you what that is let's crank this up now gibson if we can go to 80 miles an hour hurricane force winds this is a category one hurricane hurricane winds Tracy, thank you. Pretty enough right there. Mm -hmm. Our team coverage of Hurricane Andrew continues. We want to show you what it's like to be caught smack in the middle of a hurricane. And so we sent our Tracy Savage, an adventurous sort, to a wind tunnel which simulates the force of a hurricane. Ready for a 100 mile an hour blast? She's live in Westwood with more on that. Tracy? Jane Jerry, it is a pretty incredible experience to be standing in 100 mile an hour winds. This is UCLA's brand new wind tunnel, and they use the tunnel to study the effects of different wind speeds. Now, this machine can go up to 140 miles an hour. Now, we're going to get pretty close to that right now to give you an idea of what the folks uh, are going through down on the Gulf Coast. Now, we have John here at the controls. John is going to crank it up first to about 50 miles an hour. Okay, I'm going to walk into this, and you can see pretty gusty. It's slowly making its way up to 50 miles an hour, and it is pretty strong, but this is not hurricane force winds. This is enough to uh, maybe knock over power lines, perhaps to uh, uproot trees, but as I said, this isn't hurricane force winds. If we can now crank it up to 80 miles an hour, you'll get an idea of what it's like to be in a hurricane. They call this uh, category one wind. It's anywhere from 75 to 95 miles an hour, and this is very strong. It is very tough for me to stand
I was almost tempted to say good work out there, but she's inside in that simulator. What a story. Well, what a major natural disaster. Well, it's difficult to imagine what being in a hurricane is like, but we can come relatively close. Tracy Stavage dared to go to a wind tunnel, and she's live in Westwood braving a simulated storm. Tracy. Well, Pat, this is a UCLA's wind tunnel, and it can produce winds of up to 140 miles an hour, and that's the kind of power we're seeing coming out of uh, Hurricane Andrew now. The engineering department here at UCLA uses this tunnel to study the effects of different wind speeds. They've allowed us to come here and give you an idea of just how intense a hurricane has been and can be. Now, we've been here all night long, and with each uh, newscast, we've been cranking up the speed just a little bit. We've got John here on the controls, and we're going to go right to 80 miles an hour. They call that a Category 1 or Level 1 hurricane. They say it can cause minimum damage. I'm going to walk in here, though. Minimum uh, is a little hard to believe when you see just how strong this wind is. It's tough uh, for me to stand here. It's strong enough, probably, I'm sure, to uh, knock over trees, knock over power lines, perhaps uh, tear off roofs. Believe it or not, though, Hurricane Andrew is hitting speeds sometimes twice as strong as this. Now, if we can crank up the wind here, if we can crank it up to 100 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour is what they call a Category 2 wind. I'm going to step out of here for a minute. Category 2 wind, they say it can create uh, moderate damage, a little more intense. And as you can see, it's hard for me to stand here. Now, I'm going to show you uh, what something a little lighter will do with this kind of wind speed. I'm going to slowly let these papers go. You can see they are just flying down the chute. Absolutely uh, just soaring through this wind tunnel. You can imagine what it's doing to the homes down along the uh, the Gulf Coast. Now, if we can crank it up even farther, John, we'll take it up to, we're going to take it up to 120 miles an hour. They call that, they call that a Category 3 hurricane. It's winds that are so intense. I'll tell you, whoo, these winds are really making me tired and making me All right, Tracy, that gives uh, us some idea of what uh, the more unfortunate, I would say, or less fortunate people down in Louisiana and Florida have had to contend with. That is some strong wind.